prosecutors are now building their case against a Buffalo deli owner. They say he illegally purchased food stamps and used them to supply his store. Tonight, he's locked up on $2 million bail. Here's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Justin Moore. You happy now? For Ahmed Shami? all of you guys. America, it. Strong words from the wife of this Lovejoy Corner Deli owner as she left his court arraignment today with their daughter throwing up the bird to cameras. This defendant is accused of flagrantly abusing the public trust. A grand jury indicted 37-year-old Ahmed Al-Shami for food stamp fraud. Investigators say he would exchange money with individuals to use their EBT cards, then go to big box retailers to purchase items for his store. Transactions totaling almost $4,000. Who's selling Pepsi for 99 cents or uh, two liter? You can't buy Pepsi for 99 cents for a two liter if you're an independent store owner. You have to charge more. Buffalo Council member Richard Fontana lives near the deli. He says a lot of illegal activity has been going on at the store, and it has been a major problem for the Lovejoy community. He was essentially the worst store owner I've seen in my 20 years in City Hall. The grand jury also indicted Al Shami on burglary. Police say he went inside a vacant house and stole kitchen cabinets, hot water tank, and a baseboard heating unit. Taking those to his store for either resale or reuse. Al Shami pled not guilty. Bell has been set at two million dollars for the 37-year-old store owner. Since he's not a U.S. citizen, Al Shami also facing the possibility of being deported if he's found guilty. Every dollar that is uh, stolen is a dollar that could otherwise be used to do public good. In Erie County, Justin Moore, 7 Eyewitness News.